Presenting the new adventures of Pinocchio. Here's Pinocchio, what a happy lad since the day he lost his strings. He can walk and talk and fly. Do anything I try. He can dance, sing a tune, play a flute. Do anything I try. But never, 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 ever should he ever tell a lie. After meeting up with Harold, the talking train engine, and Reggie the hobo, Pinocchio and Cricket set off with them in search of adventure. Reggie's directions on how to get out of the railroad yard didn't work too well, and all they did was go around in circles. When they finally managed to straighten out, they realized that none of them had any money to pay for the trip. Reggie suggested that they sell Harold to a rocket manufacturer to be melted down into scrap metal. Cricket was so angry about Reggie's plan that he tied a rope to Reggie's leg, threw the other end around a passing telegraph pole, and Reggie was whisked out of the train. And off they went to see what they could see. Gee, Crick, this is great. I say, one of you ought to climb up front here and help me keep a lookout. We don't want to run into anything at this speed. Sure thing, Harold. I say, what's that up ahead? It looks like some sort of obstruction. Put on the brake, Pin. No, no, the brake. Hey, you will kindly watch where you is going, or I'll have to drop an unkind word to the president of this here railroad. Who just happens to be a personal friend of mine? Hey, what are you doing here, Reggie? Well, it's really a long story. I was on the way to the Pentagon, where my good friend, the General, had asked me to handle a very critical crisis when my train was caught in a landslide. The rest of the train, including my private coach and personal dining car, made it true. But I was caught at the back end where I was making a personal inspection tour for my close friend, the president of this here line. And here I am. And here you'll stay. We'll just back up till we come to another switch. Oh, Dash, it's almost impossible for me to back up any great distance. He's right. We're all in this together, me little green grasshopper. Now, if we can't go back, we gotta go forward. Yes, but how? That landslide's in the way. Yes, that is indeed a fact. Now, we can go through it, and since Harold here has to have tracks to run on, we can't go around it. But maybe we can go over it. Go over it? How's a locomotive, not an airplane? You have deduced the true and brilliant deduction. Now, what is it that an airplane has that Harold hasn't? Uh, uh, wings. Right you are. So wings is what we'll make for him. But how? Easy. From this here freight car. Come on, give me a hand. Pinocchio, you get up there and steer. You can't steer, can't you? Oh, wait, yes, of, of course I can. I'm an old hand at this sort of thing. <coughs> oh, you're an old hand at it. Well, that's what you get for lying. Your nose grows. No matter. I can steer with your nose as a tiller. Okay, let's go. Harold, you better back up and get a running start. <laughs> We did it! We're up in the air! I'm flying! Hey, watch out for those ducks! This is an outrage! And a menace to the public airways! My friend! Well, I can't say that I like that Reginald, but I must admit that he's clever. He got them over that landslide and on their way. Yes, he didn't count on those ducks. Well, that's it for now. See you soon with another story of The New Adventures of Pinocchio.